Hello everyone and welcome to Gardening Mindfully. Today, we'll be talking about this common house plant that will shine brightly in any area in your home. It prefers low light areas, but it also will do really well in a brightly lit room. If you're looking for a plant that will invoke a sense of peace, calm and tranquility in your home, the peace lily is a great option. The dark green glossy leaves with the white spathe leaf flower will not disappoint. The plant is also one that will purify the air in your home. It tells you when it's thirsty and it requires very little maintenance. In short, you really cannot go wrong with owning a peace lily or a spathypylum. This is the peace lily. The botanical name is Spathypylum which means spathe leaf. Now the spathe leaf is this white looking flower, which is basically a modified leaf. Inside of the spathe leaf, we have what's called the spadix. The spadix is the actual flower. So that has not opened as yet. But when it's open, you will see the white leaf, which is the spade, and the spadix is inside. So you'll see this is the spadix already. But the modified leaf or the spade is not yet open. Here is another flower or spade leaf. The peace lily is not an actual lily. The name is said to be because the spate leaf rises above the dark green glossy foliage like a white flag, which symbolizes peace. Now look at these leaves. You can tell this is a healthy plant. See how green and glossy that leaf is almost like it has a sheen on. It's beautiful. This is what I was talking about, how the spathe leaf tends to be taller and hovers over the foliage. That's going to be beautiful when it opens. Now let's talk about three reasons to love the peace lily or the spathy phylum. The first reason is this plant purifies the air. It's an air purifying plant. Not only will the peace lily brighten and bring life to a dark corner in your home, but you can also enjoy the peace lily in your bedroom. Why? Because it filters harmful toxins and will boost the humidity in the room. Now, when I talk about the fact that this plant brightens a dark corner, even though the leaves are dark green, because of the glossy sheen on the leaves, it tends to add shine to a corner. The second reason to love peace lily is that this plant will tell you when it's thirsty. This is a plant that enjoys consistently moist soil. And when it gets dry, it will actually droop. The leaves will droop down so that the plant basically sulks when it gets dry and the leaves will droop down, telling you it's time to add water. 
when that happens, there is no cause for worry or alarm because the plant recovers almost immediately after watering. The third reason to love peace lily is because it's a very low maintenance plant. When we talk about temperature, the peace lily is a tropical plant. Therefore, for most of us, it is grown as an indoor plant. The indoor temperature in most of our homes are between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect growing conditions for a peace lily plant. Peace lilies enjoy low light areas. However, placing your peace lily in a spot where it gets bright in direct light will encourage the blooms. So this plant actually is in an east facing window. Most of the time your peace lily, if it receives adequate moisture and bright indirect light, they will bloom throughout the year. As far as fertilizing, peace lilies are not heavy feeders. You can fertilize your plant every six to eight weeks during the spring and summer months. And as far as soil, well draining soil mix is ideal. It's also important to ensure that your container has a drainage hole. So you'll notice the container that this plant is in has a drainage hole because there is a saucer that will catch the excess moisture. Now let's go ahead and clean up this plant by removing the dried leaves and stems. But first let me show you quickly. I did a video on using food scraps to fertilize your garden. You'll notice here that there are crushed eggshells. So the crushed eggshells will break down over time and will add nutrients to the soil. Here I'm removing the dried leaves, the yellow leaves, and I'll be trimming off the brown tips at the end of the leaves. The reason for the brown tips at the end of the leaves is generally due to overwatering. And the yellow leaves are generally due to lack of light. Our spathypalum or peace lily is all cleaned up and she is beautiful. You'll notice that I removed all the dry tips. The yellow leaves are also gone. So what I'll do now, I will turn the plant to where the side that was facing the wall, this side, will be receiving more light. You'll also notice that this leaf is starting to turn yellow. So I'll be turning this container to where it's receiving more light on this side. It's a beautiful plant, whether it's in flower or not, and it will make a great gift, especially for a first time gardener because of the low maintenance that's required. If you have enjoyed this video, Please subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Happy gardening, everyone.
Bye for now.